Welcome back everybody, glad you're here. I thought it would be fun to make a YouTube thumbnail using these cool new features in Adobe Express Beta. To get started, we just go to adobe.com slash express and some of these features may be already implemented into regular Adobe Express by the time you see this video. But either way, it's fun to play around with this and to get some ideas. So we'll go ahead and get started. I'm going to click here where it says join the beta. And in here, they make it each time I sign in, it gets more convenient and easier to use. It's pretty awesome, especially if you're in a crunch for time. I want to make this thumbnail and I'm actually going to use it for the video for the YouTube video that you're watching for my YouTube channel. Up here, they have these categories. I will select social media. And right here, they have a pre-size for us, YouTube thumbnail. And you can use all sorts of cool thumbnails, but I want to show you how easy it is even to create it from scratch. All right, we're in here. This looks good. Uh, if I go over here to your stuff in brands and libraries, I've already created a brand in Adobe Express. So I'm just going to select my logo here that I want to use for it. And then also when I go to that brand there, you see where the colors and everything were and the typefaces and fonts to choose from. So it makes all that easy to access when I'm creating this. Uh, once that's done, then I want to have something picked out for a nice background. I'm going for a nice Y2K theme. Uh, so I'll go over here to media and they have different backgrounds I can use and all that, but there's this cool Adobe Firefly AI incorporation text to image. So I'll select on that and I'll choose widescreen and I'll type in neon blue, neon yellow, smooth gradient. Right, these don't look too bad. I was hoping for something a little more uniform so I might change my prompt a little bit here neon blue to neon yellow smooth gradient and then maybe I'll add background I do like this one right here I think that this can work kinda nicely so I'll just resize that a little bit And I'm going to bring it a little bit bigger here because I don't want the yellow to be so intense on there. But I think that looks pretty good. I want to change the order of these. So over here in the upper right hand corner where I have my layers, click and drag that. And I think that'll work nicely there. Okay, next part is to add some text. Going over here to my text area. You can see they also have the Firefly text to text effect, I guess, if you want to call it that, where you can choose what you want it to look like if you want the letters to be metallic or whatever. But I'm going to use plain type for this because it's going to be the title. I want it to be real easy to read and to stand out. Uh, so over here, I'll go here to add your text. And in here... I'll type in YouTube thumbnail with Adobe Express. All right, and once that's done, there's different suggestions that they recommend. You can also go here and see all your type from, you know, your your Adobe fonts library and all that, but this one up here, I think that's bungee that I spot. I do like that typeface in here. I think that'll look good and give me that kind of retro vibe I'm looking for. Uh, for the colors on this, I'll go here to fill. And it remembers my brand that I selected earlier. So I'll go ahead and I'll click on that. Uh, then it's going to be hard to kind of fit this how I want to. Uh, you know in this current state but what they have for text layout is there's this feature called dynamic if I click on that we get 
this kind of cool effect where as I resize it down and everything it makes it kind of fit in different ways so you can kind of choose how you want it to be uh, I usually like something kind of like this where it's like one word two words one word and you get the different sizes in there but I think with this example for the layout because I'm gonna kinda have a little two column action going here I think one word per line will be will be fine for this uh, that looks good my spacing I might Kind of bring these a little closer together in there. Yeah, maybe not quite that close. Maybe I like that. All right. I do like that uh, to help this stand out from the background a little bit. I might add a little shadow in here. So go here to shadow strong should work nice and then there's this custom and I think I'm gonna make that a solid black background and I do like that angle for the distance here let's see I think 15 might work well with that and then if I Make this a little bit bigger in here. I think that'll do nicely. I'll switch this back to 15. There we go. All right. Yeah, I think that looks good. Okay, so I have my title here. Here's my logo. Now, normally you would say, like, you know what? Maybe I would want to put a thumbnail or a little example of what I was creating from my project in the thumbnail but because I'm gonna use this for the thumbnail for the video I can't really do that without time travel so uh, I think I'll just put in like a nice little icon with my logo here on this but again you could put like a picture from your profile picture and crop out the background out of it and, and do that if you want uh, it's kind of up to you for that whatever's gonna catch the eye of you know your of your audience but if I go over here to elements and I'll type in video icon and over here at the top I'll actually find where it says icons lots to choose from I do like this one up here people will get the idea of what I'm trying to explain uh, and I'll have that be the same color as the logo here now with this over here it is kind of hard to see a little bit it doesn't stand out very much so I might also go over here and type in circle for elements and go to shape just choose a basic circle To kind of stand this out a little bit and I'll bring that down below and I was gonna make it white but now that I bring it in I think actually black works pretty good because uh, it goes with those shadows also maybe make it just a little bit smaller like that I do kind of like that yeah all right those elements look pretty good um, now to add a little bit more to the background here we can go here to assets and I'm gonna type in grunge all sorts of things you can type in there and I've played around with this a little bit so I do like these little uh, the circle like half tone pixels that you can use that's pretty cool uh, putting some of this distress around the outside of the design always looks nice also um, this notebook paper I do like this grid down here also I 
think that'll work pretty good. So I'm going to resize this a little bit so that it is roughly the size. You do want to be careful a little bit currently in this current state of Adobe Express Beta because I find if you add too many things in there the file size gets a little bit big and then you kind of have to resize it in Photoshop. So something to be aware of. We may have to do it with what I have set up here. We'll find out shortly. I'm going to bring this down. And there are some blending modes that you can play around with. I don't think those are going to help me a whole lot. You, you just have normal multiply and screen. But good old opacity also can work good in a pinch there. All right, that looks nice. Uh, this is set up well. And then I'm going to select all of these items here, minus the background, and just give this a little bit of a tilt. And just kind of, as best I can, Sometimes the smart guides are helpful and sometimes not as much. But I think you know, that looks pretty good. I might even move this one down just a little bit. I like that quite a bit. All right, so when we're done with this, when we're done with the thumbnail, we can go up here to the top and we can rename it and it'll show up in our your stuff. So I'll just call this YouTube thumbnail demo. And then over here, uh, there's like download and share. I'm going to go over here to download and I am pretty sure it has to be in JPEG. Maybe it doesn't matter for YouTube, but either way, uh, JPEG is going to give you your smallest file size on this. So I'll select on that and I'll click download. All right, and then we'll see it. It downloads it here. And we are at 1.46 megabytes, right under the 2 megabyte limit for YouTube. And there it is. Adobe Express, Adobe Express Beta in this case, using these features to create a cool YouTube thumbnail to hopefully attract some eyes to your content and get you that audience that your videos deserve. I appreciate you watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you have ideas for other things you want to learn how to do. And as always, we'll catch you on the next video. I hope you have a great day.